everybody. My name is Brenda and welcome to Tangle Break. Today is Fragment Friday and so we will be working with a fragment as our structured pattern to make this really cool tile. So what we'll use as our fragment is right here. It's K4. So we're going to take this and I'm going to make it easy and fun and then we'll be able to relax right on into our finished tile. Okay, so let's get started. The eight basic steps of the Zentangle method start with gratitude and appreciation. So I am so happy that you've joined me today for our break and um, appreciate the time you carved out for yourself in order to take a break and relax from your day. And appreciative of the supplies that we have, a three and a half inch tile, a Micron 01 pen, a pencil, a tortillon, and if you're just starting and you do not have a tortillon, it's okay. You can use a Q-tip or your finger, and that'll be at the end to shade. Because we're going to be, be uh, coloring in the square, if by chance you have a Micron PN or a Micron 08, one of the pens that have a broader tip, it just um, is something that you could use during that time. If not, use the 01, it will work just fine. Okay, so second step is corner dots and we'll get started. Take your pencil and just put a dot in each corner and then take, okay, so number three, the border. I'm just gonna pull the pencil from one dot to the next and I'll pull it towards me just because I like the flow of it. Pull it towards me again because I love the flow of just relaxing. It starts getting me in that relaxed state. And done. Okay. For uh, step number four is the string. Okay. Um, for the fragments, we're going to do more of a grid system, which is also called a reticula, which will hold each fragment. Okay, so what we're going to do is take, put your pencil to the side, you don't need it again until the end when we shade. Take your Micron 01 pen, and I'm going to go over where the pencil was and pen. So just go over it and pull it towards you. All through four sides. And we're done. Okay. I told you we need the grid, so let's go ahead and make that. So what you're going to do is go toward the middle of the line. I think this is it. Now I'm just going to pull it straight down towards me. Okay. Now let's go over here. Split this in half. Come straight towards me. Come over here, split this in half. Come all the way down, okay? Now I'm gonna turn it sideways and I'm gonna find the middle or round about the middle, it's just a guess, and pull it towards me. Then I'm gonna go over here, go about halfway and pull it towards me. And I'm going to find the halfway here and pull it towards me. Okay? You can, do, do, you can just turn it around any way you want to. Okay? Your grid system is done. So now we're going to just put the fragments into each box and we'll get into our relaxation. So to start this, here's your fragment. See how it is right here? That's what we'll make. Put it right here if you want to have it to look at. I'm going to start at the bottom left and go up to the right. And that's it. Okay. Then I'm going to go to the middle. Let's see. Let me, I'm going to slide this over. I'm going to go to the middle here. Come straight down. I'm going to come and turn my tile. I'm going to go straight to the middle. That's how I made my square, okay? That's it. 
I'm gonna go ahead and fill it in. And since I have the wider nub pin here, let me just go ahead and do that real fast here. And I'll show you a couple ways to do this fragment area. I'm going to turn it so I can just stay in the lines while I'm coloring. That's always good to do, isn't it? Okay. My square is colored in. Okay. So now I'm going to go back. Got my lines to do. So I'm going to come over here to this space here and I want to draw two lines in the space area. Okay. So I'm going to come to right here, go down. And it leaves me enough room to do one more line. Done. Okay, that's all I have to do. I'm going to turn my tile and I'm going to pull it down here and then take this one, pull it here. And that's it. That's the fragment. And we will do it to fill this up and then we'll shade it at the end to give the 3D effect. You can see the shading on this side. So, let's keep going. I'm going to go ahead and start from, remember, let me move my pen back. I'm going to go from left to right, okay? I'm going to go from the middle to the line. I'm going to turn my tile and go from the middle to the line. Done, okay? If I wanted to, I could go ahead and do the lines now. Do my first line, come over, do my second line, turn it, and I just join that line, coming around, join that line, coming around. Okay? Alright, so then let's go ahead and color the box in. This down here. I've told, uh, I've told you in a previous video how much I love 3D effect. So I will be drawn to the 3D things, the 3D fragments, the 3D uh, tangles. I'll do others also, but I just love the 3D effect. Okay? And um, I'm having so much fun looking up and um, practicing different tangles and all that I've done before and just to find the ones that I find are the most fun and most relaxing because that's what I want to share with you. Okay, so let's go on to the next tile. What we could do is we can just do the last two together. Left to right, last one, left to right. Go from, oh, let's start up here. Go from the middle down, go from the middle across, Go from the middle down, go from the middle across, okay? This time, and um, you can do it either order. I just, I'm gonna go ahead and color these two. I, just, I like to turn my tile, um, it keeps my hand in a comfortable position and the tile is in such a position that it's just easy to turn and do. Something so relaxing about coloring in. Okay. Done. Now I need to do my two uh, lines on each side. So I'm going to come up to the first one, find a spot, bring it down, go to the middle section, find a spot, bring it down. Turn my tile, find a spot, bring it across, 
find my spot, bring it across. Done. Okay. And then the last one. Just gonna bring it down. Bring it down. Turn it. Bring it across. Bring it across. And done. All right, we're starting to get the get the look, the 3D look that's popping out. So let's go ahead and keep going from left to right. Got my lines done. Okay, now I'm gonna do my boxes from the middle down and across, from the middle down and across, from the middle down and across. From the middle down and across. Okay. Let's just pull this one down just a little bit more. And that's the beauty of it. If you need to fix something, you can. When you're filling it in, I'm gonna fill in my boxes and then I'll do my side lines. What makes it nice, these pins on this paper, as you can see, I went this way this time. I've, I haven't had the problem of any smudges, so it gives me the freedom to go either way. That's all just a little line there. Okay, and then the last box on this line. Okay, that one's done. So now we need to do our lines, okay? So I'm gonna come to the first box, come over here, draw straight down, come over here, draw straight down, done. I'm gonna turn my tile because it makes it easier for me and pull it straight down and connect and pull straight down. Box is done. Do the next one, pull straight down, Two lines, turn, two lines. Next one, pull down, pull down, turn and pull down. And then the last, last one, pull down, pull down, pull across, pull across. Okay. There we go. This one, I'm just gonna fill that in a little bit more. When I turn my tile, I have a little bit of an angle, but it'll it'll be fine when it shades. Okay, next line. Go from left to right, left to right, left to right, left to right. Okay, from the middle down, from here across, from the middle down, here, middle, from the middle, 
here, middle, here, in the middle, here, from the middle, here. Okay, got my squares. If you wanted to do the lines first this time, let's do the lines first. This for something different. Line straight down, line straight down, turn my card, okay? Line straight down, line straight down. Okay, turn this way. Turn. Okay, all right. Line straight down, pull it towards you. Turn your card. And here we go. Last fragment on this line. Straight down, straight down, straight across. And right there okay so on this line to be finished we color and this line is finished On to the next box. Okay, all right, we're on the last line. So, you're pros at this now, aren't you? So go across from left to right. Okay, we're gonna go, whoops, pull it down from the middle to the line, turn from the line to here, from the middle to the line, turn, from the line, whoops, can you see? From the line here, from the middle to the line, from the line to the middle, from the middle to the line, from the line to the middle. All right. Okay. Let's, I feel like coloring in some more. So I'll color in. And then we'll have the lines to do, and then we'll shade.
the last few lines and then we'll shade. So I'm going to start over here, bring my line down, bring my line down, turn the, the tile, bring it across, bring it across. Next one, bring down a line, bring down my line, turn my card, my tile, bring it down, bring it down. Okay. Two lines, turn my card, and bring it across, okay? Two lines, and then bring it across. And we have done our tile, okay? Now to make it pop out with a 3D look, I like to go back and shade it. And we're going to just shade one side of the inside of the boxes. So I'm going to pick the left side. And I'm just going to put, as some people would say, graphite right in the left side of each one. And I'm going to go back with my tortillon, or if you don't have that, a Q-tip or your finger. And just rub it in a little bit. So just on the left side. And it just gives it a little bit of depth. That's what we're looking for. It just shows you the different... Um, squares a little bit more and like I said I love fragments and I've got for fragment Fridays from here on out I have already found quite a few fragments that I just love putting together this fragment one um, this tile we did all the fragments in the same direction there are some that I've chosen that I'm going to share with you for Fragment Fridays that are fun that you will turn and rotate the fragments and mirror them and then you get a meta pattern. So you get even a bigger pattern using those pieces. It's really cool. I thought that today I would just start with this one because I love this one. Anything with 3D. So I'm taking the tortillon and just blending in where the pencil marks are just so that it just more colors it with shade okay and then I'll go through each one and just give it a little bit of shade so then it looks like your 3D effect comes in a little bit more with the shading I love shading it just can Wait until you see some of the tiles that I've gotten um, ready for you. So it's going to be Tangled Tuesdays and Fragment Fridays. And then I've got some really cool projects that I'll be slipping in here and there. But that's the schedule as of right now that I'm excited to share with you. So I hope you can join me. And we'll have fun and relax. That's the whole point. All right, so here's your tile. Okay, now the next part is to, um, that was part six with shading, which we did. Part seven, or the step seven, is initial and sign. On the back, I can put my name, Brenda, and then where I'm doing this is Tangle Break. Okay. You can put the date, whatever you want to on the back. On the front, I'm going to turn it this way and I'm going to put my uh, chop. It's my uh, initials and uh, it's fun to develop a chop. My initials are BS and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a B and then because we turn our tile a lot, I'm going to turn the tile and make my S come around like that. So it almost makes it a little design, my initials. So if you, when you see those around, that's me, okay? And the last part, step eight is appreciate. So um, I appreciate the tile that we made and the relaxation we had, and you can look at it in any direction you want to, pick it up and turn it around. I appreciate uh, 
the time we spent together, the relaxation that and the fun that we had. And I uh, hope that you can join me next time when we take a tango break. I have so many things I want to share with you. So bye for now. Okay.